What's going on everyone? Coach Eve here. So a lot of you can do single unders and you're ready to do double unders and you don't know how to get there. So these are a few things that you can do. Um, we've used this with one of our members already who has gotten a lot better at double unders over time. This is just a one or two minute warm up thing that you can work on. So uh, first and foremost, if you uh, can't get one double under at all, um, first one I'd work on is put both in one hand and then you're just going to work on jumping with it and then you want to quickly whip all right twice and you're going to hear it you want to hear it uh, make that sound in the air and also hit the floor each time so when you're going this is my single under so then double 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 okay I'm jumping along with it um, but the main thing is, is making sure that I can get it with both hands. So what I see a lot of times people that are doing single unders is one arm is doing all the work while the other one just sits there. Okay. Usually the dominant hands working, the other one isn't. So on your other hand, you want to make sure you're working on this one. Okay. Getting that same width. Okay. When you're doing it, when, and if you can see, when, when I'm doing it, it's out to the side. The rope is actually going to come across my body out in front to the other side. Okay. So I'm not here. A lot of people are here and they hit themselves. Keep it out in front of you. Okay. And it's going to hit out a few feet in front of my feet. Okay. So that's the first one to work on to make sure that you're getting both of those feet to go. Okay. So the next thing that I do next progression, will be is just trying to get one. Um, so you're gonna just do singles, then you're gonna jump big and whip both, okay? So just as simple as that, but make sure that you're jumping high, okay? When we're jumping, we're on our toes. That's another thing um, that a lot of people, they'll jump flat-footed, okay? Or they jump with their knees up like a box jump, and that's a lot of extra work. You wanna jump through your toes Okay, and you can jump higher that way. So singles, and then I'm going to one, two, three, double. Okay, I'm just going to do one. Now, that's getting doubles. Now, if your problem is trying to get multiple doubles in a row, what you're going to do is do a double and then three singles. Okay, so what that looks like, you're going to double and then back to singles. Do three. All right. And then once you get control of that, that feels easy. You're going to do a double, two singles, and then a double. All right. So once we get there, okay. And then that last, that last technique would be is working on, um, so now that you're pretty close to hooking them together, you're going to work on different speeds. Okay. This is how you get control doing doubles and how you can do a lot in a row. Okay. So usually what the problem is, is you don't have control of your jump and of uh, the speed of your rope because you can do slow doubles. You can also do fast doubles. So you'll start off trying to do slow doubles, work up uh, to fast doubles and then back down. So slow. Okay, and I didn't go back down. I need to do it again. So slow, fast, slow, fast. Okay, so I'm working on controlling my speed. And you can do that with uh, singles too. Okay, so just going slow and trying to go faster. I'm not as good at singles as I am doubles. But you want to go slow on your singles, fast for your doubles. Or sorry, fast in the singles. And then same thing. So this is if you got five or ten double unders down and you seem to be messing up in a workout, practice the slow to fast, back to slow, back to fast. That's going to get you the control that you need. So that's a few tips. I'm out of breath. Hope that helped out a lot. And I'll see you guys next time.